everybody, it's Olive, and I'm here with my giant cup of coffee to talk to you about some of my bad book habits. We all have them, I sure have them, and I wanna to talk to you about what they are and what I plan to do about them, because goals are important. Based on the several videos that I've posted already, it might be obvious what these are, but I'm gonna go into them anyway. The first one would be severely overestimating the amount of books I can read in one month. I see all these books and they all look so wonderful and I of course overestimate the amount of time that I'm going to be able to commit to reading the books that I put out for myself. So I have this massive monthly TBR list that I plan on reading and probably will not get through which leads to then feelings of guilt at the end of the month when I haven't completed them. So I think what I need to do this year is maybe take an average of how many books I'm reading per month and then only expect that of myself. If then I get to another book, that's great. But if I'm expecting it of myself, then I'm leading myself to feel disappointed by setting myself up for failure. And that's not a good idea. Number two on my list, I talked a little bit about in my very first introduction video and is probably very apparent by the shelves behind me. I love putting pretty books on my shelves. I love to buy them and bring them home. I love the whole process of buying books and then seeing them on my shelves. But when it comes to reading books, I prefer to read library books. Picking up a library book and reading it and loving it and thinking about the people who have read it before you and the people who will read it after you. Something about reading it with that plastic cover on speaks to me. It's weird, I know, but I like it. So what can I do about this particular problem? Well, obviously buying less books is not an option. I like it too much. So the answer must be that I need to start reading some of these books behind me. I own these books. I bought them for a reason. I need to read them. And so I'm already taking steps this year to start reading more of the books on my shelf. I have kind of a, a game plan set out for 2015 of what I want to read. I have ensured that at least half of that list are books that I already have on my shelf that I've been wanting to read for a really long time. Speaking of library books, number three would definitely be stalking my library page. I stalk my library page like people stalk ex-boyfriend girlfriend's Facebook pages. I am constantly seeing if any of my holds are ready yet. I'm constantly seeing if the library has purchased any new releases that I can put on my holds list. It's a little bit of a problem and I need to back off a little bit. Also related to that for number four, I tend to ignore the backlist a little bit sometimes in favor of the front list. By backlist, I mean books that have been published in the past and fretless, meaning books that are new releases. I can't say I am all about the new releases, but when a book comes out, something about the novelty of it really makes me wanna pick it up. But if I'm ever going to get through my massive TBR list, I need to focus on the backlist and I have made an effort to put on aforementioned list of the books I want to get through this year. The majority of books on there are backlist, but I did leave a little bit of room on there for when new releases come out and I want to read them. So I'm trying to keep it under control. Stemming off of the fact that I have a giant TBR list, I need to stop making my TBR list grow as much as it does. I tend to go out and search for books that I'd be interested to read way more often than I should because putting something on the TBR list feels so good. When you read the synopsis, you think, yes, I definitely want to read that. And it's so exciting to hit on Goodreads, want to read, and it's way too easy. <laughs> there should be like one of those extra questions before you add it to your want to read list. For example, if you see a book and you hit want to read, there should be a warning pop up that says, you already have 600 items on your to be read list. Are you sure you wanna add this? And maybe that would cause some sort of introspection of what am I doing with my life? This TBR is gonna take me 10 years to get through. So binge TBR adding, not good need to find other things to do with my time instead of looking for new books, maybe reading. There's a crazy idea. 
Another result of having a massive TBR list is that I shy away from rereading books because I have so many books to read. And there are some books I really, really want to reread that I think I'd get more out of the second time, but every time I think of rereading a book, I immediately go to, you have too many books to read, you don't have time for that. And that makes me sad because I have a couple favorites that I've read in the past couple of years that I'd love to experience again. Making time for rereads is something I'm really gonna need to work on. Also during some of those rereads, I'd love to start taking notes in my books because I would love to see what my thoughts and feelings about the book were during my first read through, where my head was at, and then I would continue taking small notes during any other readings I do of it, and it would just be a really cool progression of my feelings on the book throughout time. It's just a really cool thing. I think taking notes and I've never really done it before and I've heard so many people speak very highly of it. There's got to be something in it so I at least want to try it. Something that really bothers me in particular about what I'm doing when I'm reading is I'm very consistently checking to see how many pages I have left in a chapter. I think I do this because I have a very strong urge to feel like I am completing something. It's really distracting. And sometimes when I'm paging ahead to see how many pages are left in the chapter, I'm getting glimpses of what happens next, which then ruins it for me. And then I'm skipping around a lot. It's just not a very productive way of reading. However, I do think I can get rid of a little bit of that temptation with e-reading. On my Nook, it's very easy to look and see uh, how many pages you have left in the chapter. And especially on the iPad, you can just look at the very bottom of the page and it'll tell you how many pages you have left in a chapter. So maybe doing a little bit more e-reading and maybe then I could break the habit. Probably my biggest problem with my reading life is not reading enough. I have a little problem, not just with books, but with things in general, of putting them off because I can only experience them for the first time once. Some of these books on my shelves, I am so excited to read that I don't want to read them because once I read them for that first time, I never get to experience them for the first time again. It's something really weird that I've been doing for a really long time. I do it with video games, I do it with movies, I do it with TV shows. I withhold things from myself because I don't want them to be over before they even start. This one, I'm just trying to get over, but if anybody else has a suggestion of what I can do to stop doing this, I would be very grateful. I am missing out on so many good things because I'm afraid of saying goodbye at some point to them. It's bad, it's really bad, guys. So those are just some, I'm sure not all, of my bad bookish habits. If you have any bookish habits that you think are bad and are trying to work on, please let me know what they are down below. If you have any advice for me or share in any of my bad book habits, let me know that also. If you wanna get in touch with me, I am on Twitter and Instagram, both places at a book olive. And if you want to be friends on Goodreads, the link for that is down below. Thanks so much for watching. Have a great day and I will see you next time.